greet you in divine love. We are the ambassadors perfecting love in Christ United Fellowship from Houston, Texas, by way of Lufkin and Newton, Texas. I am First Lady Yolanda Taylor, and this is our bishop-elect, Pastor Ricky Taylor. We just want to give a quick shout out to all the wonderful people who help us do kingdom ministry. Amen. And we want to give a shout out to each and every one of you who have faithfully supported us and prayed for us. Listen, we could not do what we do had it not been for the prayers of the righteous praying for us on today. Amen. So um, we want to just encourage you, take a moment to encourage you in the faith on today and take full advantage of the time that God has given us. There's a scripture in Ephesians chapter 5, Bishop, that says, and I know you are familiar with this, redeeming the time redeeming the time and I'll just park right there for a moment redeeming the time based off of our current situation that we're going through right now God has blessed us and has given us time amen to rest time for restoration time to refuel amen he has given us time to even renew our minds and so we want uh, to encourage you that while we have this time, while we have this rest, while we have this moment, we want to take full advantage of the time for the word of God declares for the days are evil. And yes, there are a lot of things that are going on. There's a lot of uncertainty in the land right now. Each week we have been making declarations and we have been decreeing God's word over our lives because we know the word of God will not return back to him void. It's going to accomplish the very thing that it was set out to do. Amen. So we're going to continue to decree and declare God's word over the lives of his people. We want to encourage some Somebody that needs to know you can and you will come out of whatever it is that you're going through. But certainly it's not just COVID that we're dealing with. Many of us have different situations in our lives that we're dealing with. And you can and you will come out of this. Amen. For the Bible declares, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present world are not worthy to be compared to the glory of of God, no matter what it is that we're facing in our lives, the Bible encourages us that it is not worthy to be compared to the glory of God. So we want to encourage you that you're not alone. Somebody help me now. You are not alone. Yes, these are trying and uncertain times, but one thing is for sure. God has not left us. God is our refuge. Amen. And if he brought us to this thing. He didn't bring us this far to leave us. He has brought us here for such a time as this to take full advantage of the time. Bishop, he has given us opportunities, amen, to take advantage of this time that he has presented to us. So, uh, Bishop, if you will, just, you know, share with us what the Lord has given you for this season, for this time. Amen. Um, Thank you for having me sit with you on today. Um, I want to echo um, something you said to give a shout out to those who have partnered with us um, from Houston, Texas, mm -hmm. the Ambassadors for Christ, um, Perfecting Church, mm -hmm. amen. Also from both Lufkin and Newton, Texas, the Love yeah. Fellowship Worship Centers, amen. So we do honor the Lord for allowing us an opportunity to come before you once again. Um, to speak live, um, we're getting used to this live thing, but to speak live in regards to what the Lord is doing in this very hour. Um, my wife here has spoken some very, very good things, and one of the things the Lord has been dealing with us concerning is to pray beyond, to seek the face of God beyond the place that we are in currently. Amen. Amen. Almost like going beyond the veil. Can we say that? Going beyond the veil, amen, to seek God beyond the place that you see with your natural eyes. Oftentimes, we are challenged by um, life and situations um, as far as we can see them. The Bible tells us that we walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. 
Yeah. Amen. So it's something about sight, something about the things that are current, that are before us, that has a way of challenging um, who we are in God to try and to prevent us from getting to the place God has appointed us uh, for such a time as this. Um, the Lord gave to us a message in regards to a man. You are appointed, anointed for the appointment. That's what we said. You are anointed for the appointment. Amen. We say often that we are expecting God to bring us to our due season. Amen. An appointed time in the Lord. And the Lord began to deal with us in respect to the fact that he's already prepared us for everything that we will ever experience or ever go through. Amen. Amen. He's already prepared us. He's already made a way of escape for us for every temptation that comes against us. Amen. So therefore, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is what God wants us to focus more on. Amen. Yes. And to remain in a place of peace knowing yes. this. Amen. That he who hath begun a good work in you will complete it Amen. even to the coming of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So I'm getting excited just now speaking and thinking about what the yes. Lord is doing, what he's already done. Amen. And where we're on our way to. Amen. We're on our way to a higher place in yes. God. Amen. We've been talking a lot about going to the next level uh -huh. amen moving to the next dimension amen and we're in a situation now in this time where god has allowed us to experience amen crisis and 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 and, and challenges that amen. will challenge your very faith amen it's going to challenge you to really really be rooted and grounded yes. amen so if you really want to get to the next level in god if you really want to get to the next dimension in god amen this is the time now Amen. That, that that God has given to you is going to be on display. Yes. Amen. God has brought us to a place to where your faith is on display. Amen. He's brought us to a place, amen, to where your worship, your praise is on display. My amen. God. Your prayer life is on display. Everything that we have proclaimed before now is on display. How will you act now, amen, that God has allowed you to experience this wilderness experience? And that's very good, very well said, Bishop. I tell you, um, uh, you said something very powerful that our faith is on display because the world is looking to us. The Bible declares that we are the light of the world, the salt of the earth, a light that should not be hidden. So this is the time for the body of Christ, the body of believers to stand firm and to allow our light to shine. Amen. So that other men can see, so that other uh, men can be drawn unto God. He said that if I be lifted up, yes. I'll draw all men unto me. Praise God. I love what you said, that we were anointed for the appointment. Amen. For the time that God has put, brought to us. Amen. And when we talk about anointing, um, we're talking beyond, speaking beyond um, a natural man. Okay. Um, ability to, um, with oil, yes. um, anoint you, okay. uh, to good. place oil upon you. Mm -hmm. um, there, that is one type or one form of anointing. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're talking about the, the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Come on now. We're talking about the actual deity of God, yes. um, the, 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 the essence of who God is, his, his power, yes. um, that he has um, approved us for the work. Yes. Amen. The Bible speaks about that over in the book of Isaiah 61. Mm -hmm. I believe it's in uh, verses 1 through 3. The Bible says that the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me mm -hmm. to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, yes. to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Yes. Also to comfort all that mourn, to give unto them beauty for ashes, yes. the oil of joy Hallelujah. for mourning, and the garment of praise. For the spirit of evidence. So God's want, he wants to make an exchange with us. That's good. Amen. God wants to make an exchange. He wants to take something from you that you can't handle. Amen. In exchange, he wants to clothe you in righteousness. He wants Praise to put God. upon you something that only he can place upon you. Amen. To bring you into a, a better place with him. 
Amen. But I want to focus real quickly on the first part of that scripture. Amen. Where he says that the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me too. Can we just stop right there for a moment? Yes. Amen. The Lord God, not me. Right. Amen. Yeah. I know sometimes we do great things in, 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 in the service of God and we, we have our ways and mythology. We have our religious acts and works in the house of God. But, but the Bible says that the spirit of the Lord God, mm -hmm. amen, has anointed me to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. And this is where we are able to plug in uh, what it is that God has anointed you to do for a, such a time as this. Yes, Amen. Many things have got placed in your hands. Amen. Many things he's anointed you to do. Amen. This is the time. This is the season. I heard the woman of God say a minute ago. Amen. That we've come to a place in time where God has allowed us to reflect. Amen. To go back and to reminisce and to re be reminded, amen, of what it is the Lord has called you to do. Amen. To be reminded of what the vision is that God has spoken over your life. Amen. To re re revisit the dreams and yes. the visions that God has, amen, once upon a time, amen, given to you. Because the time has come now, amen, that we've got to awaken up out of our sleep. Come amen. On. We've got to arise to come the occasion, on. arise to the time that God has brought yes. us to. Yes. Amen. That is the appointed time. Yes. No man knows the hour, amen, no right. the day, the time that God has appointed unto them, mm. amen, not just to die, but the Bible says that Ecclesiastes is supposed to live and to die. Yes. There's been a to every man. So this is the time that God has appointed unto us that our faith will be on this flame. Yes. Amen. Those of us who have cried, Lord, Lord, amen, save me. This is the time now, this amen, the time. to rise up in power. Hallelujah. Rise up and demonstrate the power of the rise Holy Ghost. Up. Amen. And say, if God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. Amen. amen. We're going to look at the devil in the eye, glory to God, and proclaim the day of the Lord has yes. come. Amen. This is my time. This is my hour. Time. Amen. To wake up out of my sleep. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. He wants to remove the scales from my eyes. Amen. Hallelujah. That we may see him as he is. My, my, my. Hallelujah. Oh, that's good. That's good right there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. But it is the uh, anointing. Yes, sir. Um, that destroys the yokes. Yes, sir. Um, woman of God, it is the anointing um, that brings us the power that we're able to not only believe yes. that we can do all things through That's Christ, right. which strengthens us, but but to be able to have the will to act. Yes. Amen. It's one thing to just quote a scripture. Amen. It's another thing to allow the scripture to come alive in you. Allow it to come alive. I feel that come in my on. spirit. Come on. Amen. We've got to allow the word of God to come alive in us. The Bible lets us know, amen, that 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 that, that God is his word. Yes. He said in John, he said, in the beginning was the word. The word. That's and it. the word was with God. With God mm -hmm. And the word was God. Was God. So Come God on. is his word. Yes. So it's not enough just to know, amen, what the word says, but we've uh -huh. got to allow the word of God to come alive yes. in us. Amen. That it can perform to do. I think I heard you say earlier, amen, that God said that my word would not return to be void. Exactly. Amen. So that lets me know that his word can, yes. amen, glory to God, accomplish whatever oh, yes. it is yes, it that will. it has been purposed to accomplish. And this is where the anointing comes. In. Yes. Amen. How well we really know God, mm -hmm. how well we really trust God, mm -hmm. how well we really believe God's well. word, That's amen, it. is the lamp unto our Come feet on, and a light unto our path. Amen. This is where God is calling us to in this hour mm -hmm. to allow the anointing of the Holy Ghost to My come Jesus. alive in us. Yes. Amen. That whatever we put our hands to do, yes. it shall prosper, it shall, it shall accomplish, yes. it shall break loose, it shall, it shall loosen the chain. Oh, glory to God. My We've Jesus. got to come to the appointed time of God my, my, my. and allow the anointing of the Holy Ghost, amen, to radiate from us. Yes. Amen. That it can accomplish that which God has yes. sent in this hour Hallelujah. to accomplish. Hallelujah. I believe that word today. Amen. I know it's true. Amen. That if we would just present our bodies. As living sacrifices, my God, and allow, like he, like Bishop said, allow the word to be activated in our life. And I'm going to tell you the way to activate it, if you don't mind me taking a moment here. It's when we appropriate the word to our situation. We can know the word all day long, but if we do not apply it, if we do not appropriate it to our situations, it will be of none effect. 
it will be null and void. So we actually have to live that word. Live the word. Yes. I love that. I love that. One thing I, I, I learned when um, we begin to talk about the anointing, mm -hmm. um, many of us for many years have talked about, you know, um, the anointing. Mm -hmm. um, it removes burdens. My Jesus. Um, it destroys yokes. Yes. Um, but watch this. Not only does it destroy yokes, but uh -huh. it, it counteracts. All right. Every attack of the enemy, mm -hmm. every opposing factor My of Jesus. the enemy, every opposing about act, the thing, amen, that tries to come against us, amen, and to defeat us. That's why the Bible tells us that the weapon of our warfare are not corner. Yes, but they're mighty, but they're mighty through the pulling down. in God, mm -hmm. to the pulling down yes. of strongholds, yes. and casting down imaginations and every high thing that seeks to exalt itself against the knowledge of God in our spirit. That lets me know that we have a power in God. God that can cause your enemy to have to cease My immediately. God. Yes. Amen. I love it. Amen. It, 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 the anointing can cause the yes. enemy to have to stop. Oh, yes. Suddenly. Suddenly. Can we say that? Mm -hmm. Amen. When you really understand the power of the Holy Ghost, amen, we can put the enemy to an open shame. Yes. Amen. It's, it's not you, amen, that, it's, that, that puts fear in the enemy. Right. But, but it it's the, the anointing. It's the anointing. power of God. Mm -hmm. My God. The it, Bible says that he gives us power over the power over of the, the power enemy. Of enemy. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Over the powers of the enemy. Amen. And nothing can come against you and defeat you Praise when God. we allow the anointing to nothing. rise up in us. Amen. Because every soul, yes. every being, yes. everything is subject to the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost. Come on. Amen. I, I love it. I love, I love. Watch this. Can I read this real quickly? I have a passage here that says um, that when that the anointing begins to flow and be released through you. Yes. Any plan Satan has concocted. Mm -hmm. The enemy is always plotting. Yes, He's he always is. planning. Oh, yes. Uh, That's the his Bible job. says that his, it's his job. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's always seeking okay, whom to he from. may devour. Exactly. Amen. So uh, any plan that Satan has concocted is immediately sabotaged and destroyed. My Jesus. When we allow. Yes, sir. That's the key factor there. Allow. When we allow, when we yield ourselves to the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. Amen. When we just allow God to do, to act, to move through us. Thank you, amen. Jesus. It has the power, yes. amen, to stop the enemy in his tracks. Glory yes. to God. I get excited, amen, because it's the anointing, amen, that creates fear in the heart of the enemy. Oh, yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Every demonic demons factor, tremble. every demon, oh, glory to God, every demon Come has on, to at tremble the name. at the name of Come the demon. Oh, glory, hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus. Glory to God. Jesus. Amen. There's power in the name. Power in hallelujah. The name. hallelujah. There's healing in the name. Yes. There's deliverance in the name. Glory to God. So, saints of God, we are moving to a higher place in God. Amen. And we wanted to Truly. come to you today, amen, just to encourage you a little bit further in your faith. Oh, yes. Amen. This is now the hour. This is the season. This is the time of the Lord mm -hmm. that he has appointed unto us to rise in power. To rise. Amen. Like to it. rise in power. Mm -hmm. This is not the time, amen, for doubting. That's right. Amen. This is the time the only to be believe. confident and sure That's in who you right. are. Amen. This is where the old folk used to sing a song that says, uh, uh, be very sure. Be very sure. I remember. <laughs> I remember. That yes. Anchor holds yes. And grips mm -hmm. <laughs> the solid rock. My, my. Amen. But, but, but we're moving to the next level in God. Praise the name of the Lord. I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that I'm desiring to move you, amen, to a higher place in me. This is the reason you, why Jesus. we want to begin to seek the face of God, the mind of God, yes. amen, to take us beyond the veil, mm -hmm. amen, literally, take us beyond the veil, mm -hmm. take us beyond COVID-19, mm -hmm. amen, we can't get away from God, it's Come all around on. us, it's affecting everybody's life, amen, it's not new at this point, amen, amen. and we're going to continue to pray against COVID-19, yes. but don't just stop there, don't stop there, amen, seek the mind Way of beyond. God, 
Amen. The Bible says that before anything is revealed in the land, that he will first reveal it in, unto his prophets. Come on, sir. Amen. This is the time that God is calling for the anointed ones. Amen. His sons and daughters. Amen. The true Hallelujah. believers. Amen. His prophets. Glory yes. to God. His prophetess. Amen. God is looking for his people. Yes, he Amen. Is. To be able to impart into us, impute unto us. Amen. The hidden mysteries of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. He wants to reveal himself to us in this season, Thank in you, this Jesus. hour. We've got to come off of our bed of affliction. My Amen. Jesus. In our mind, in our yes. hearts. We are dealing with anxiety yes. And, yes. and depression and oppression. We, mm. we have so much that... We are, that's happening in our in our households, our minds, in oh, our God. job, in our families. Yes. Amen. We have so many things happening right now. Amen. But God is calling us out of those things. Hallelujah. Amen. He's calling us to rise in the power that he's given unto us Thank to break Jesus. every yes. yoke off of us. Hallelujah. Amen. So right now we speak to every spirit. Oh, Amen. That's tormenting your mind. Everything that's trying to sabotage. Yes, Amen. God. The anointing that's upon your life. That's trying to keep you bound. That's trying to keep you hindered. That's trying to keep you outside the knowledge that God has given to you. Amen. To believe that you are more than a conqueror through Christ. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. You are more than. Amen. You shall live and not die and declare the work of the Lord. Even in this hour, I speak now to every spirit that will try to sabotage your anointing and your faith. Glory to God. They will try to sabotage your joy. I speak oh, now oh, that you shall rise up in power God. and joy unspeakable you, and full of glory Hallelujah. in this hour. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. For the name of the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. He is a mighty God. Amen. And we honor the Lord for what he has done in this place. Hallelujah. Amen. He is worthy of all the honor, the glory, and the praise. Wonderful word. Wonderful word. I felt the power of God moving through the word. Amen. Somebody has been encouraged on today. Somebody has been strengthened on today. Hallelujah. To stand firm in the faith. Hallelujah. God bless you today. We're asking that you meet us and join us here once more and again. And to all of you, God bless you. May the Lord God keep you is our prayer.